Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're at Chick-fil-A and I'm about to go in. I literally just placed my order online and I'm in the parking lot right now. Um, they wouldn't let me do the drive through pickup because like it's unavailable. It's literally packed outside. Um, so I'm going to go in and pick that up and we'll do a little haul with you guys. I also wanted to mention that this video is going to be a QA. and a I asked on my Instagram for you guys to like give me a bunch of different questions and literally I'm recording this on my phone. I don't have like an expensive thousand dollar camera so we're going to be literally reading the questions off this sticky note right here or well two sticky notes my bad but anyways yeah that is what we're going to do so we're going to work what we have until I can invest in an expensive camera i'm thinking about it i don't know if you have any camera suggestions actually put them in the comments because i would really like to know okay you guys so we got the goods and i already like took them out the bag because i had to take the thumbnail but you guys everything looks so good and the fries are extra crispy like look at them oh my god they look so freaking good i have not had chick-fil-a fries in a really long time but i was seriously craving them today so let's try it out oh my god wow and they actually salted them enough this time i usually have to add like a salt packet to it because you guys i like everything super salty but these are perfect mmm mm-hmm literally so good oh my god mm. and then as you guys know i am gluten intolerant like severely so i got the grilled chicken nuggets and i also got a fruit cup for something on the side and i'm just obsessed with their fruit cups they are so good and their grilled chicken nuggets are literally bomb like i love them so let's open up this fork and yeah, we're just going to get straight into it if I can open up this fork. Got it. Okay, so first up, let's look at some of these questions and see what you guys wanted to know. So this is so funny. Like I'm literally reading off a sticky note like I'm in. Oh my God. It's kind of just bear with me. You know, it's fine. Okay, so what's my daily routine? So my daily routine throughout the week anyways, like Monday through Friday, I usually wake up at around five o'clock and then I get ready to go to the gym with my mom. We work out and I usually leave the gym around like seven o'clock. So we get there around 530, work out for like an hour and a half. And then after that, if I don't have to work that morning, I kind of just chill around the house and do like stuff that I need to do basically. Mmm, this is so good. I'm literally, you guys, if you've not tried their grilled nuggets, they're so good. Wow. And the fact that I'm like super hungry right now is making this taste 20 times better. Okay, but back to the question. Um, So if I don't have to work that morning, I will stay home and I'll basically just do stuff around the house. Like I'll shoot some content for brands. I'll cook some chicken meal prep, stuff like that. Like it's literally so basic. Like, or I'll sit and read a book. Like I really don't do much besides go to work, shoot content, and be active on Instagram. I love being active on Instagram. It's like one of my favorite things to do. But usually my evening shift is from like three to seven o'clock. So I'll go to work. And then when I get home at seven, I'll eat dinner, take a shower, do that kind of stuff. Um, mm. And then I'll you normally like watch a TV show and eat like a snack before I go to bed. And I usually end up going to bed around like 10 o'clock, 9.30, somewhere in there but mm -hmm. that's basically my life in a nutshell i'm not even joking though that's all i do this chicken is so good you guys like i don't know what they marinate this in but i i need to know like if anybody has worked chick-fil-a and knows the deets let me know mm. so good hmm let's see what's the next question crunchy or smooth peanut butter definitely smooth like all the way i don't know why like a lot of people in my family like the crunchy peanut butter can't do it i mean i can i like it i'll eat it but creamy is like 20 times better to me so let's see what's the next one <coughs> jesus i just got really tripped on that this fruit looks so good and fresh oh my god you guys Look at the size of these strawberries. Mmm. It's so fresh. 
Hmm. Let's see, let's look at another question. So favorite nut butter. Okay, since they said nut butter, I'm gonna go with like an actual nut butter and not like oat husk because oat husk is honestly my favorite spread, but that's not nuts, that's like oat base. So favorite nut butter would probably have to be Abby's Better. I love that they have like a huge variety of flavors. They have like cashew butters, almond butters, and you guys, unpopular opinion, but I think that their butters are better like in stuff. Like I don't think they taste as good by themselves. Like oat husk, I can sit there and eat it by the spoonful, but Abby's Better is more like you have to have it on something because it's a little bit bitter. And I hate to say bitter because that makes you think it not doesn't taste good, but it's so good like on stuff. Mmm. Oh, when did I start my Instagram account? Okay, I want to say it was like two and a half years ago, maybe. I think it's like two to two and a half years ago. Oh my god. <laughs> mm. I underestimated that strawberry. It was a really big strawberry. <laughs> mm. Hardest part of being an influencer. Okay, so the hardest part is definitely comparing myself to others, which... Honestly, I don't want to say that because I know everybody on social media probably compares themselves to others, but I tend to do that a lot and I have to remind myself, you know, like everybody is different. And like also the fact that social media is a highlight reel and I hate that because in a way, like I want to show you guys like every aspect of my life, but obviously I want to have some form of privacy, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I want to be as real with you guys as I possibly can. And I just hate the fact that like some of it I want to keep private, you know what I'm saying? Like if that makes sense. Mm. Okay, so now let's get into the fries because I'm literally looking at them like these look so good. So I'm using ketchup. I know a lot of people hate ketchup, but that is not me. That could never be me. I love ketchup, especially with fries. Like obviously I'm not gonna sit here and dip everything in it, but you guys, these fries are so crispy. Oh my God. Mm. Oh my god, I've not had Chick-fil-A fries in so long. This is definitely going to be a new craving for me. It's so freaking good. Mm. Okay, favorite YouTuber. My favorite YouTuber is definitely Steph Papas. I literally love her videos. If you do not follow her, go check her out. Her dad's channel was also one of my favorites because their collabs were the cutest thing ever, but he recently passed away. So, yeah, that was so freaking sad. Like, I remember wanting to cry for her. They were literally best friends. Mm. I couldn't imagine losing my mom because my mom and me have the same relationship as her and her dad. Her and her dad did. I can't talk, but um, yeah. What is the? Oh, I was wondering what this sticker was, and then I was like, oh, oh my god, it's literally like my name from my order. I was like, what is that? Um, are you single? Yes, I'm very single. I've always been see actually no I've had one boyfriend bo one boyfriend but yeah um yeah but I'm very much single and honestly I prefer it that way because I don't want to say that I'm scared of commitment because I'm not scared of commitment I'm just scared of relationship <laughs> yep fun fact about me mm. I don't know what it is about a relationship, but it just like scares me. I just know. But I think it's also childhood trauma. You know. Oh, about dropped my chicken. But no, like for real, it probably is. But I'm not mad about it. Cause honestly, I'm not the typical teenage girl that wants to like date a new guy every other week. I feel like there's so many of those. I'm sorry if you're that person, no disrespect to you at all. It's just like, I feel like nowadays girls feel like they have to be in a relationship and I never, like, I will never teach my kids that they have to be in a relationship because I feel like a lot of people think that now. Like, they want to have a boyfriend 24-7. Like, and I'm not saying this about people who've been in a relationship with people for years. Like, that's completely different. But I'm talking about, like, the girls that at school, they have a different boyfriend every other week. Like, that's crazy. Hmm. I don't understand how you can even catch feelings that fast. Like, that's just wild. Um yeah these fries are so crispy but they're really good hmm okay 
favorite hobby oh okay i literally love playing tennis like playing tennis i don't get to do it a lot because i just don't have the time to but it's literally my favorite hobby ever i also really like reading and i'm getting back into it again and i'm so happy that i am um let's see favorite childhood memory probably this is gonna sound really funny um so me and my brother used to play with our stuffed animals all the time if you know you know beanie boos were it beanie boos were the thing and we would literally play with our beanie boos together all the time yep it's a childhood core memory mm. oh my god i'm not joking this is your sign to go get some chick-fil-a fries you deserve it mm. or whatever you're craving if you want a cupcake go get a cupcake who knows or if you're craving salty fries are the answer 110 percent um let's see hmm biggest role model okay so this is very basic but definitely my mom <laughs> she's just been through so much and she literally is just such a strong woman for what she's been through and honestly i just look up to her like every day for that and she's also just my bit like my bestest friend on this entire world um like i don't know what i would do without her so yeah definitely my mom mm -mm -mm. fruit is amazing future living situation or ideal future situ <laughs> oh my god i swear i cannot talk ideal future living situation got it that time finally um hmm I'm not exactly sure where I want to live. I just know that I want to start up my own protein bar company. So it really depends where the facilities are the cheapest for that. Because I know for like distribution and things like that, I'll want to be near like a, like in a state that has warehouses that aren't outrageously expensive, especially as a startup business. So it really just depends where, but yeah, probably. It also says they included pets, relationships. Okay, so I would probably be single. I'm not gonna lie, obviously. Um, probably like in my 20s, I'll be single living in an apartment with like my dog or cat. Mm. Depends on if I can take it to the warehouse cause I can't stand it when people leave their pets at home all day. Like honestly, like if I have a warehouse where I can, okay, this is a really hard question. Um, hmm. Guys, I really have no clue. You'll just have to follow my Insta and follow my journey, I guess. But yeah, probably in an apartment in some state with cheap warehouses so I can mass distribute my protein bar. That's the goal. Mm. Yo, this chick play is incredible. I haven't had it in so long. I'm, I was literally craving it so bad. I'm so glad I got some. <laughs> we should totally make mukbangs a weekly thing. Just so I can have an excuse to go out to eat once a week. At least. I think we should. I just dropped my fork in the floor. No way. Oh well. I'll go to the fries. Because, oh well. I think I actually, I think they gave me an extra fork. Maybe they did. I will check in a second. But these fries are good anyways. And uh, it was about time for another fry. Look at her. That is so good. Hold on. Let me look for my fork. I know they packed me another one. I know they did. I swear I saw one, guys. <gasps> yes, they did. Stop it right now. <clears throat> they are the goats. I found another one. They are literally legendary. Thank you for the extra fork Chick-fil-A employees. If you work in Milledgeville, Chick-fil-A, I don't mind saying that because I don't live in Milledgeville, so have fun with that information. <laughs> Let's see, what's another question? Favorite vacation? Mm, I don't know. I haven't really been on any extravagant vacations. I've been to like Florida and Tennessee and that's it. That's literally it. Um, 
I mean, they were all great vacations. I'm not saying they weren't. I'm just trying to think of like, they were all kind of the same places. Like every time I go to Tennessee, I go to Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge, like that kind of area. Mm. But it's so fun every time we do go up to the mountains. I really like that. But I also really like beach trips. Like this, oh, actually, I think the trip to Orlando that we just took was probably like my funnest vacation just because of the fact that I could like fully enjoy it. And I was with my soon to be stepsister and my mom's fiance and it was so freaking fun like i wish we could just go back and do it all over again we're back my tripod messed up and it cut me off so anyways we're back eating some french fries they're literally so good mm. Ooh, this one's like fluffy okay another question i got i'm just gonna do like two more so one of them i got was do you continue doing social media as a job and honestly social media i will definitely be doing like continue doing it as i create my own protein bar because it is a really good side hustle especially if you're like a teen like me that wants to start their own business it's a great side hustle to make some extra cash but um and honestly i just love it like i literally love all the people i've met all the brands that i've worked with it's just so fun like i just truly enjoy it and the last question was, do you promote products that you genuinely don't like? I would never do that. And I want to like preface why. So I would never do that just for the fact that like, I know how hard it is to make money, especially in today's society. And I would never just make you waste yours just so I can make some commission. Like, I'm not going to do that to you guys. Because first up, I want to have y'all's trust. Like, I don't want y'all to think, oh my gosh, this girl just literally promotes brands that she doesn't like just so she can get money. Like, no, because I have done that before. I bought from influencers that promoted a product and they genuinely don't work or I did not like the product at all. Um, so, yeah, I would never do that to you guys. Um, whoa, I just got chicken juice on my pants. At least they're black. Mm -hmm. I'm literally going shopping after this and I just got it on my pants. At least it wasn't on my shirt because that would have definitely showed up. But, um, mm. this chicken is really good though. But yeah, I would never promote a product that I didn't like to you guys just for the fact that, like, I just think that's genuinely so rude. And I hate lying to people, obviously. So, like, I just, mm -mm, I couldn't do it. I couldn't sleep at night knowing that I lied to you guys just so I could make some commission. Like, that's just very crooked. And, um, yeah. And also, when I come up with my own brand, I want you guys to know that I genuinely like the product. And I want y'all to trust me enough to want to buy my own product and try it out. Because that would just be amazing to get some support from y'all. But, yeah. I wouldn't do that to y'all. Speaking of, I've actually had a company send me a product before. And it was just like a story post type of thing. Like they just wanted me to post it in my story and like give an honest review of the product. Like that was the guidelines. That's the contract I signed. And I straight up told them, I was like, do you want me to post this? Because this is how I genuinely feel about the product. I'm not going to lie in my following and lose their trust over this. If one of them buys it and is like, what the heck? Like, I don't care if it's just one person that I lose their trust. That's one person. And I'm not doing that to anybody. So I told them and they were just like, oh, we appreciate your honest feedback but like yeah please don't post it so i didn't because i'm just not gonna promote a brand that i don't like so and that may seem a little harsh but <laughs> it kind of does but i genuinely just like didn't want to lie to you guys about it so yep y'all this chick-fil-a is so good but i'm kind of getting full and it's about time for me to go shopping at tj maxx which is gonna be so fun mm. I love Chick-fil-A's fruit cups. I've just about finished everything. I probably will finish it up and go shopping. But yeah, I think I'm going to conclude this video because it's already getting super long. Yeah, I think we should make this a weekly thing because I literally love doing these mukbangs with you guys. If y'all can think of any restaurants that are really good, like allergy friendly places that have gluten and dairy free options, please comment those below and I would definitely be sure to check those out and maybe do a mukbang there for you guys. But yeah, please like and comment on this video and also subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And I will also link my Instagram and TikTok, so be sure to check that out. But I will see you guys next time.